Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, I got to COVID. <laughs> uh, I had planned on doing a, a Boxing Day video and a New Year's Eve video and a New Year's Day video and <clears throat> that just didn't happen, <laughs> obviously. Um, wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. I mean, it was still unpleasant. Um, you know, for those of you who want to know, it was a, I am fully vaxxed and it seems to around here anyway, I don't, I don't know about the rest of the world, but I don't know why it wouldn't be, uh, this new fucking Megatron variant or whatever it is, doesn't seem to be as aggressive. I got to sneeze. <sighs> Sorry, COVID. Uh, it doesn't seem to be as aggressive as the uh, other strains or variants, whatever they're calling them. Um, but it's a hell of a lot more contagious. For a prime example, when this new variant hit, we were averaging maybe 30 cases, 40 cases a month. Uh, on a bad month, maybe a hundred. We've got almost three thousand now in two weeks. <laughs> so, yeah, it, it's pretty fucking contagious. It's, it's measles like contagious, from what I read. Um, which, for those of you who don't know, measles is pretty much the most contagious disease they know of. It's got a ninety percent infection rate, which basically means. <laughs> You can have 10 people in a room. One person can literally walk in that room with measles, turn around and walk out, and you're guaranteed none of them 10 people are going to get it if they're not vaccinated. So this is kind of the same way, I guess. Um, I don't know how I got it. I'm assuming work. You know, I'm, I'm a pretty clean person. I always have my mask on and everything, but all it takes is... Just taking your mask off for a minute to adjust it or whatever, stretching it out a bit. It's all it takes with this new variant. So keep your mask on uh, at all times. Um, so you know, with other staff members and customers, or it could have been when I went shopping, Christmas shopping, and then or going out to the store to get a couple things. Um, I ain't blaming nobody. I ain't mad with nobody. It is what it is. I, I mean, I'm surprised I managed to avoid it for almost two years. I mean, where I work, for those of you who don't know, there's a lot of people that come in and out of that place. Like, a thousand a day. So, and I think that has to do with me being very clean and wearing my mask and all that stuff. And, but uh, around here, like I was getting at it, it seems to be hitting the people uh, who aren't vaccinated really hard, though, still. Um... Our cases, we still don't have a lot in the hospital. Like I said, we have like 27, or 2,700 cases or something like that. We've only got like 60 people in the hospital. Um, but of them 60, like 49 of them are either on vaxxed or partially vaxxed. So, again, I'm not political and this isn't what it is. And I, good God, I don't tell anybody what to do. You do what you want. That's the great thing about a free country. Ah. Uh, but you're kind of playing Russian roulette with it now. Before I could, you know, was, yeah, well, you, as long as you, you don't want to get vaxxed, just kind of avoid the areas and only go out when you have to. It doesn't really matter now. <laughs> so you're kind of playing Russian roulette now. Uh, but you do you. You do you. That's all I'm going to say. Um, so, yeah, that's the run on COVID. I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, pretty intense fever for a couple of days. Uh, sore for a few days, coughing and sniffing, still coughing and sneezing, a bit of a hoarse throat. But other than that, it wasn't near as bad as I thought it would be. I'm glad it wasn't. Um, pretty much at the end of it now. A couple more days and I get to go back out in the public. <laughs> I won't anyway. <laughs> not for not for. A, any reason, it's got to be a good reason, like work, but other than that, yeah, 
So that's just letting you know why. And for those of you who want to know what COVID's like, that kind of what it was like. But then again, like I said, I don't know. It seems to be a lot worse if you're not protected against it. So, yeah. So, anyway, you do you. I ain't trying to tell nobody what to do. See, that kind of show. Uh, luckily, I never lost my sense of smell or taste, obviously. <laughs> uh, so, I was still able to wear perfume and review it. The only thing I can't give you is uh, if I got any compliments or not. Obviously, because I didn't go anywhere. Uh, but I still wore this around the house for the last four or five days. And good enough to give a review, I think. Um, Jimmy Choo Man Ice. Um, I like the boxes and the bottles from Jimmy Choo. I think they're neat. Um, this one's no exception. It's kind of got like a snake skin almost thing on the box. Um the bottle is really nice. I love this white frosted gradient from clear to white. Um, the cap has got that, oh jeez, the cap has got that snake skin kind of vibe to it. The sprayer, great sprayers, right on par with uh, Dior, that pressurized sprayer. You can do like half a spray or full spray, whatever you want. Um... The second, no. So, Jimmy Choo Man Ice. Classified as a woody aromatic. Yeah, I guess. I, I, it's mostly citrus. A citrus aromatic, I would have classified it as. But hey, I'm not the one doing it. Uh, citrus, woody, musky is the accords. Top is uh, citron, bergamot, and orange. So, straight up citrus. Uh, mid is apple, cedar, vetiver, patchouli. Um... Bases and brocks and musk and moss. Um, what do you get from it? I'm pretty much just gonna a citrus scent with a light green and woody base or in the background and a musk base. Um, not unpleasant at all. Uh, I'm not the biggest citrus fans, but there are a few that I like, and this one reminds me of a couple that I do like. Um, reminds me of a cross between like Dior, like I said, Dior Homme, Cologne, and uh, Jean Varvetos, Artist and Pure. More Dior Homme than Jean Varvetos um, because of the citrus that's in this, and it's the main player, and you get it right off the top, pretty much through a whole life of the scent. Is more similar to that crisp lemon and orange citrus from Dior Homme. Whereas in Varvetos, I find it's more of a bergamot and citron, 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 citrus. <laughs> um, not quite as natural smelling, but still very nice. Um, and, but it's more similar in the dry down to the Varvetos because of that musk, that mossy musk that comes out. Um, it's pretty much identical to the dry down of, of Artist and Pure. So if you have either one of them, you kind of know what you're getting. It's kind of that type of scent, a citrus scent, basically. I literally, off the top, I'm getting citrus, 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 a little bit of vetiver. I don't pick up on any apple. A little bit of cedar with that woody, the vetiver, and the, giving it the, that woody green aspect, the vetiver and the cedar. Um... Maybe a bit, a tiny bit of earthiness from the patchouli, but nothing. I don't get a lot of ambroxan. I mean, it's got a bit of a sharpness, so that might be it, but not. I can't really tell you there's ambroxan if you told me. Unless you told me, I wouldn't have guessed. Um, definitely a mossy, musky scent. I get that at the base. Um, not unpleasant at all. Uh, very nice scent. Um, so I can't give you any compliments, but it's a compliment. It would get you compliments. I mean... Dior Homme does, or Dior Homme Cologne, sorry. Artist and Pure does. Uh, this is pretty much right in line with them. Uh, longevity. Halfway in between, again, Dior Homme Cologne, which I only seem to get, uh, from what I remember, it's been a while, but it was like two hours. I was always seeming to spray every two, 
two and a half hours reapplying the Orum Cologne. Whereas with Artisan Pure, I get about five, five and a half. This one gives me about four. <laughs> Again, not the ideal situation to be wearing. It's wintertime, blah, blah, blah. But I mean, I was inside a controlled environment the whole time. Inside my house. <laughs> and uh, I only got about four hours out of it. Projection, uh, nothing majorly beast. Not bad. The average projection for about 40 minutes. Half hour, 40 minutes. And then I kind of... So, performance-wise, it's a bit better than the Orum Cologne, but not quite as good as Artisan Pure. Kind in the middle. Um, so, yeah, that's it, guys. It's just a real quick review. I can't really talk too much about it. It's, it's nice. It's pleasant. It's citrus. If you like citrus colognes, especially those two that I mentioned, even a little bit of a Chanel Alor Orum Spore. If you like any of them three, you'll really like this one. It's cheap. Uh, I got it for Christmas, so I didn't know how much it was. But uh, uh, I see that Shoppers has it for $20. So I'm assuming there's no tag on it, but I'm assuming that's where she got it. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. That's it. Um. Peace, love, be good to each other. Stay safe, guys. That's how quick it can happen, just like that. Um, and if you aren't prepared or, or whatever for it, it's going to hit you hard. Peace, love, be good to each other, guys.